But the gift of personal communication is when God just moves on your spirit to say, you know what, you are on my heart today, and I just want you to know that you are loved, that you are appreciated, that you are just such a blessing to me. You, 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 you make me feel special. I want you to know that you are such a gift of God. I'm so glad that I'm blessed just to even know you. And when you communicate with somebody, you can brighten their day any day of the week just with your word. This can be done with a phone call. It can be done with a text message. It can be done with a handwritten note, an email, and it takes no more than a few minutes. It's the gift of personal communication. You'd be surprised. You can build a relationship with people. Communication, relationships are the essence of life, and communication is the basis of relationship. Reach out to folks when you don't need anything from them. Just love on them. Just love on them. There are enough people contacting them because they want to money out of them. They want to get bills paid. You'd be surprised how refreshing it is just to get somebody who won't hold you all day but to just speak to you and say, you know what, I just want you to know that you are loved and, and appreciated. You are such a blessing to those around you. I just want to celebrate the specialness of who God has made you to be in the world and how God can use your words to just encourage somebody. It's a gift of personal communication. Number two, the gift of quotations. The gift of quotations. See, the beauty of a good quote is that it is brief, it is to the point, full of wisdom and advice, and it provokes thought. And it's a simple way to boost a person's spirit. It's just the gift of quotation, just, just sharing a quote. On my Facebook account, on my Twitter account, I oftentimes share the quotes of other people that have blessed me, and I share most of the uh, quotes that, uh, that God gives me. And so I share the gift of quotes. It is, it is uh, potent truth. In, 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 in a few words, just in a few words, in a few words, it's the gift of quotation. Be a blessing to somebody. Just, just use that gift just, just, just as a means of touching people, just, just a quote that might speak to you. Number three is the, uh, the gift of a good recommendation, the gift of a good recommendation. Whenever you make a discovery, especially one that enriches your life, share it with other folks. It could be a book, a CD, a movie a play, a product, a church, a passage of scripture, a restaurant, a diet or exercise plan, wink, wink, <laughs> a TV program, a business opportunity. Just, just give a recommendation. Whenever you make these kinds of recommendations, you're really saying, this brought joy into my life and I want it to do the same for you. This has blessed me and I want to recommend it to you because I believe that it can be a blessing to you too. It's the gift of a good recommendation. You know, uh, I'm the type of person, I'm not the keenest person about doing a whole lot of reading. I will not waste my, I can't tell you how many unfinished books I have. Because if you're not written well enough to hold my attention, I, there's too much stuff in the world. I, how dare my, waste my time, my, my eyes going from left to right. I don't, that don't, uh-uh, no. No, that's garbage. Just, it's, you're out of there. I don't have time. I want, to, I want it to come by recommendation. I don't want to go to a movie and sit through a bad movie. I, I really don't. I, my, my wife and I went to a movie recently. We got up and walked out. I, I just couldn't take it anymore. I just, I'm like, life is too short. This is a waste of time. And I just got up and walked out. So I like to have a recommendation for something. I, I don't want to go to a restaurant unless I've had a recommendation. I want somebody to tell me, listen, the food in there is off the chain. I appreciate a good recommendation. I hope you do. And so if something has blessed you in your life, recommend it to other folks. Number, three, number four, it's the gift of a helping hand. All of us appreciate it when somebody not only offers to help us, but actually when they follow through and actually do it. No matter the size or the significance of the task, a, a job always goes better and seems easier with the help of another person. Whether you're on the job, whether you're at home, whether you're in school, out socially, the gift of help is always appreciated. I'm just telling you, you go over to somebody's house, they have a dinner, and uh, you get up and help them with those dishes. I know they're going to say, uh-uh, don't do that. But let me tell you, every woman, listen, when you've got, a, you've been, you've got to bust such, listen, that is just no fun to be stuck with a whole, oh, don't worry about that, I'll get to that tomorrow. It's going to be a chore tomorrow. You don't want to deal with all that mess. Listen, the gift of help, it is such an incredible blessing. Number five, this is one of my favorites the gift of laughter. I've never met anybody who doesn't appreciate a good laugh. 
Victor Borch said that laughter is the shortest distance between two people.